Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sea Slurps and Mystery Mondays. Today we're gonna be trying Maggie Curry Noodles. All right, so this was for Sadesh. Uh, Sadesh had requested this a while back. It is a Malaysian noodle. And from the looks of it, it looks like um, a soup noodle. Actually, it looks like it can be cooked two ways. You can have it either in a soup format or in a dried noodle or like a meringue style format. I'm gonna be doing the soup version today. It is known for its famous two minute cooking time and with a wonderful aromatic curry flavor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, we have our noodle block here and our seasoning packet, just the two. Boil 360 milliliters of water, add your noodles and also your seasoning and we're just gonna cook that for two minutes. And that's pretty much it for the soup version at least. So we're gonna cook, 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 let those noodles loosen up a bit. And once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to our bowl. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check this out. Yum. Check out the slow mo. Delish. All right, so this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow, these are a total ringer. I really had low expectations for this but I super, super enjoyed them. One, when you're cooking it, the aroma that fills your kitchen is like so intense, uh, in a good way. It's filled with a ton of spices, and if you've ever had Malaysian food, you know it's a lot of different spices and cultures coming together there. So you have, obviously, a lot of different things that go into curry spice. So here, I'm getting bits of turmeric, I'm getting uh, some cumin, cardamom, ginger, um, and seed, fenugreek, we also got a bit of paprika as well. It's actually got quite a bit of heat to it. I was, again, really surprised at this. It is definitely more of like a medium style heat to it. The noodles, yes, they do indeed cook just in two minutes. So it's nice and quick, especially if you're in a rush. These are quick with the trend of Southeast Asian noodle cakes or noodle blocks. They're usually a bit smaller than, say, what you'd find for a Japanese or Korean bridal. Uh, I did find parts of the noodles to be a little bit gummy. I'm not sure why that was, or maybe it was just this particular noodle. It was definitely not as silky or flimsy that I would find in like, say like a mega ring or anything like that. Um, they actually cut their shape a bit. And I'm really curious to see how the stir fried or the mikarang version is going to be like the stir fried dry style noodle. I'm curious to see how that would work. But again, the instructions also said to add your egg, add your vegetables in there as well. So again, I don't really think it's supposed to be eaten by itself, but even by itself, it packs a ton of flavor. And because the package encourages you to add things to it, there really wasn't much else in it. It's just a noodle block and a seasoning packet. No flakes, no extras in there. It's really, really, really basic, which is also why it's probably super, super cheap. Also, it's quite a bit of a sodium hit. I almost wish they could scale back just a little bit because it is like a salt bomb. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four out of five. It's pretty solid. And because they're so cheap, I would definitely buy these again. I loved how unique the flavor was. It's not something that I find every day or encounter every day. So I really love the uniqueness of it. And again, cooks in two minutes. If you like this video, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just at the top right-hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see everyone next week. Bye!